The Bear, Season 2, Episode 7, Thoughts. This episode is called Forks, another episode I love. Spoilers for this episode and all the ones leading up to it. Before I dig in, the top link in the description box will enable you to donate to the site After Strikers, and I implore you to do so. And then there are some links to videos to help explain why this is such an important strike. So, we start the episode... And Richie's alarm is much like Richie. Very noisy, especially when it shouldn't be. No way to get it to shut up. And so something I noted in this season. In season one, Richie could come in extremely handy. He really handled well the Snyder Cut motherfuckers. And there was at least one episode also where he, like, helped, you know, he wasn't the only person Sydney also pitched in, but he helped, you know, make things better with some, some locals. And before this episode, in season two, Richie has kind of been the punching bag, like, he fails at everything. So I appreciate that this episode, you know, now, this episode kind of recontextualizes, you know, I, I, and I do acknowledge from the start of season two, you know, the, he was he was in a funk, you know, this, yeah, they've basically been building towards this. This is when he finally climbs back out of the pit, and I am 100% here for it. And, yeah, Richie really hates the place that Carmi sent him, and god damn those forks. I get why Richie is so pissed off, like getting, you know, criticized for even the tiniest little, you know, if they're not 100% absolutely clean, and just, you know, yeah, f fucking cleaning forks for nine hours, not getting to do anything else, and, you know, he's told, well, you know, the first week, everybody does forks. How long are you here for? A week. <laughs> and... Yeah, Terry is always watching. Ah, so it's a panopticon. And, yeah, Garrett really loves it. Richie does not. Not crazy about the fact that they name drop Bo Burnham and then not feature him at all. Like, I'm pretty sure he'd be perfectly down for appearing on something. You know, he's done a little acting um, that I'm aware of, at least. And, yeah, so the the very intense guy, didn't really catch his name, tries to smudge shame the entire crew there. And, yeah, um, phone call with Tiff, and she says she has something that's very hard to say, but apparently not that difficult to pronounce. Frank proposed, she said yes, and... You know, it is sweet that she then tells Richie, you know, I love you, and he says it back. You know, when they did the thing with the, the loud train passing by, I thought they were going to make, like, a joke about, oh, she didn't hear him say that or something, but, yeah. And, yeah, he gets upgraded, no more forks. And the, yeah, he, he gets the deep dish, and they turn it into, you know, one of the, yeah, they make it avant bullshit. And Richie does very well at serving it, and also at the test, and, and then he's singing along in the car. That was great. You know, and, and he's waking up before the alarm. Just, yeah, really, really great to see him back on top. And it doesn't feel like it's just betraying what the character has been like under the right circumstances Richie is fucking amazing you know I I gotta admit when he went to serve you know he's he's like can I serve the deep dish you know and he gets to I was like oh fuck did he did he, is he at the wrong table or is he gonna say something that's wrong or something you know is he gonna get pissed off when they don't really respond when he asks about drinks but no it goes you know, perfectly from start to finish. And, you know, near the end of the episode, you know, Terry says, Carmi said you're good with people. He's right. 
And yeah, it, it is true, under the right circumstances, at least. And... Let's see. Yeah, and, and, you know, after Garrett, early in the episode, was like, you know, sure, go ahead and quit. I don't, you know, nobody know, even remembers your name. You know, here, by the end of the episode, they admit they're going to miss each other. And Richie would like to work there. And Garrett isn't like, out of the question, what the fuck? He's, you know, I know he wouldn't say fuck. But, you know, he's like, ah, you know, that's that's not my decision, though. And, <laughs> and Richie calls Carmi convinced that Carmi did this to punish him. And Carmi is like, but no, what the, what are you talking about? And you know, by the end of talking to to Terry, he does realize it really wasn't punishment. And <laughs> Feck is trying to recalibrate, but it's not going super well. And that, yeah, very funny. Like it's such a it's it's such an obvious gag. You know, he's messing around with electricity. He gets shocked. It hurts a lot. Like, it's the most... Ob like, they were doing gags like this, like, you know, maybe a hundred years ago is a slight exaggeration, but, like, if you can you can find really old cartoons. Like, I'm certain Donald Duck was in, the, you know, a similar situation on at least one occasion, you know. But it works if you if you do it right. If you've got a good performance and good staging, it works, and that's what they have here. And it's also sweet that Jess, you know, says thanks for everything. To you know, I'm gonna miss you. Some something like that. To Richie, and yeah, Richie's looking for something or other, and you know, Olivia Coleman is like. Try that drawer. Yes, queen. And, yeah, you know, we get some, some backstory for her. her f yeah. And we, we never do find out, you know, what was the, the sign-off that he always, that her father always used. But, uh, you know, she, she explains, I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. And, yeah, neither Terry nor Richie have a great relationship with their father. And Carmi really does believe in you, he told me. And we close the episode and, and we get one more shot of the the sign with the with the clock, you know, that says every second counts and every first stacks. Yeah, another excellent episode. Really, really glad to see Richie back on top. Yeah, I mean Maybe on some level, you know, Carmi knew this is what Richie needs. You know, this is the kind of experience that is going to get him out of his funk. You know, Carmi worked a really, you know, big time restaurant. He knows, you know, perhaps not all, but many people really, really love working there because of the experience that they give the you know the patrons you know hospitality this whole thing and yeah I you know I'm not certain that Carmi is above like wanting to just punish someone he's working with but I don't think he'd do it I, th I think he would you know try to to be more like constructive but you know Richie he sometimes reads negative things into yeah into stuff that really isn't um i i i like that the show is willing to do these episodes that are very different like we barely most of the cast of this episode of, of the of the show most of the the ensemble doesn't appear at all in this or or at most very very briefly you know sydney sugar tina fac carmy you know barely in the episode 
Richie is there from start to finish. Other than that, we're spending time with a bunch of people we've never met before. And I wouldn't rule out we may never see these people again, you know. But it really works. It helps us focus on just Richie. And, yeah, really, really glad to see him, you know, able to, to really do incredibly well at, at stuff again. You know, as fun as it can be when he fucking face plants. I really do appreciate that he is also a character that, under the right circumstances, really can, you know, excel. Like, you know, if he was an antagonist, it could be fun if all he does is face plant. But the fact that, you know, I don't know if Carmi would fire him, even if he was just completely useless. But it would, I feel like it would probably get to be kind of sad. Like, we'd stop laughing and be like, okay, make it stop. This is just painful to watch. You know, it'd be cringy. But, yeah, he, you know, there are certain situations that he handles extremely well. He knew exactly how to deal with the, yeah, Snyder Cut motherfuckers. And, yeah, um... Next episode will be sometime next week. And until then, they're fucking forks.